So just to show how cursed we are with boat trailers, this is our good boat and our good boat trailer. And I just got some guy waving at me on the road and you saw in the mirror that it was freaking on fire. Our okay, boil. Today's video is about number one, our trailer fire story, and number two, how to replace the bearings on a boat trailer or any other type of trailer in case you need to. So I think we're absolutely just not supposed to have boats because our good boat caught on fire. Not a boat, a trailer. Trailer. Our trailer caught on fire on the way up north. So who wants to tell the story? I'll tell. Go ahead. We were driving up and then there were a bunch of people waving at us. We were like, what's going on? And then mom looked out the window and she said, Craig, you're, the trail is on fire. Exactly. So mm -hmm. we're cruising down the highway. People are frantically waving at us. No idea why. Mom looks out the window, flames bursting out the wheel of our boat trailer. It was insane. It was insane. Now we pulled over on the side of the highway. The problem is everything, all the exits are on the opposite side of the highway. We right. took off the wheel. Wheel. Because it's a tandem trailer, so there's two wheels per side. Drove super slow all the way to a parts store where Papa Al saved us. Right. So I thought, because we're going on vacation, what better time than now to give you your new car? Oh, Come on, gosh. check it out. So this is not only a Yukon, it's a Yukon Denali. This is the best one you can buy. Really? Figure we had to tow the boat and tow all this stuff up. We need something big. The minivan isn't cutting it anymore. So you have sunroof. Yeah. You have two DVD players for the kids, actually Blu-ray players for the kids. So these seats are heated and air conditioned. So it's three, four, five, six, seven passenger, and it's four wheel drive, and it can tow our boat. Yay! Two hours later. So just to show how cursed we are with boat trailers, this is our good boat and our good boat trailer. And I just got some guy waving at me on the road, and you saw in the mirror that Fire. It was freaking on fire. Our boat trailer was on fire. So luckily, we keep a fire extinguisher in our boat, so I jumped up like freaking MacGyver and then jumped down and then put the fire out. And here's our trailer on the side of the highway on fire. And once again, in the rain. In the rain. I'm going five miles an hour in the breakdown lane, but like over a bridge on a five lane highway in the rain once again. Finished. Well, that was. It's over with. It's How long? Freezing cold. Two and a half hours. Because I can't work on this car, where it, where it freaking caught on fire. I don't even know what I what I can do. I'm just creeping. It's like cursed to be boaters. This is so stressful. I greased the wheel bearings at the beginning of the season, and we just drove two hours of the Cape Cod and back with no issues, but it's definitely a wheel bearing issue. And that's what caught on fire. The grease probably caught on fire. This is boat ownership, perfectly explained. Fun and work. And deja vu, fixing a freaking wheel on a trailer in the rain again. That isn't supposed to come off that easily. And these bearings were greased this year. Watch this. This is how hot this is. It'll start smoking. Look at it boil. That's how hot that is. See the water sizzle on it? Alright boys, we made it to the parts store. I'm gonna try to figure this thing out. You guys go get some food. So I looked up the bearings I need, the race kit, the seals, everything I need. I went and got it. You and I are gonna do this together, step by step. Now I know what you're gonna say. Craig, we already knew that trailer was a hazard. We already knew it was unsafe. Boat lifts right off the trailer. This isn't that trailer. This is a completely different trailer. This is Old Faithful. This is my good boat. 
I think my boat, to be honest with you, knew I was selling it and moving up to my other one, so now it's quitting on me. Now, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know Boy Scout always comes prepared. So deep down in here somewhere uh, is uh, uh, a handy dandy tool kit. Here we go. I never leave home without it on any road trip. I'm always prepared because obviously you never know what's gonna happen. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off this cotter pin and the nut, which is completely worn out. And then I'm gonna make sure the nut I bought fits as well as all the other bearings. There we go. There we go. Now the rest will come off. Now I think did this used to be the axle nut? I don't know what that was. No, here it is, the axle nut's still on there. That's not a good thing. Oh no. All right, so the axle nut or the spindle nut is still there, so I think I could salvage it. The bearings are the right size, and so are the grease seals. So I think we're good. Let's get this repaired. So I got the axle nut off, and this bearing I thought was seized on there, and I just played with it, and it popped right off. The problem is, here's my back seal. I can't pull my back seal off because the inner bearing is seized on there. So now I'm gonna try to clean it up and file it and see maybe if I can hacksaw it off. All right, I have my sandpaper, my brake clean, and my mini hacksaw. Right, this freaking thing isn't gonna do anything. Boom! I'm embarrassed, but look who showed up. Papa Al to the rescue. I'm gonna preface by saying I did not call and ask him to come help me. I asked him for advice, and he got his handy dandy toolkit, and he's gonna show us all how to do this. So I couldn't get this inner race off. I couldn't sawzall it, I couldn't hacksaw it. I was gonna reuse it. You say we can't, and you also said you know how to get it off. Yeah. So we're gonna show everybody how it's done. This is a bearing separator. Jeez. So it goes up and over, and then it clamps in. Yeah. So now he has his puller. He's gonna put a puller on the bearing separator. So the idea is the same as a flywheel puller. Yeah. Getting tight? Not really yet. It actually looks like it's kind of pulling off the edge. See? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, is it? Oh, what's happening at that race? Nothing. Yet. Nothing. Okay. Take the hammer and hit the end of that. All right. Tighten it up. What does that do? It'll jar it a little loose. Yeah, your trick worked. Look at it. You got it off. That easy. Okay, I'm knocking the inner race out of the drum. So that's why you lay the wheel on the ground, yeah. so you can knock the race out. Pop, your knowledge never surprises me, but what's the problem right now? Circumference of the drum where the race goes is worn out. Show me what you had did, what happened. Okay, when we take the new race, this has to be pressed. Ham it in to the drum. Like tight fitment. It's so here's the outer race. See the outer race. We got a tool, we're gonna hammer that, drive that in. Yeah. Alright. The inner race. The drum is worn. But we take the new race, drop it in. And All right, much before play. you say anything, tell me what you asked me. Do you have a Coke can? <laughs> now I want to know why. A soda can. I had a Red Bull can sitting in my truck. All right, do we have scissors here? In the middle of a rainy parking lot with a multi-tool and a Red Bull can, Mr. MacGyver figures it out. We're making chicken excrement out of chicken soup. Look at how tight that fitment is, though. 
<laughs> it's a homemade bearing press? No, it's, it's a seal driver. Seal driver. Then he took his knife and he trimmed the edges. You would never even know. Okay. We got the right bearing? That's going to slide on there. Great. I'm going to pack the bearings. You've got to clean up. See the birds here? Yep. Clean up the birds so I can... Sandpaper or file? File it and then sandpaper. So file that down, sand it. I've been promoted. You get my old job of holding a flashlight. Pop, what are you doing now? Packing the bearing. The old way. How's the old way? Ball of grease in your palm of your hand and you take the wider side of the bearing push it down and the grease comes in there and when it comes out the top the bearings packed. Wow. That's the old fashioned way. And you grease the hub too. And that's how you pack a bearing yeah. by hand, huh? Yeah. See if it slides on the axle. So I did file this and then sand it so it should fit right on. Yeah, there we go. It's on. Driver. So you press the bearing in and then the seal. Yeah. All right, that's good. Where's the bearing? This is packed already or not yet? No, not yet. Now we're going to... Oh! We can't... The race. i got to put the race in. Which is right here. So, Logan, the race stays in place on the wheel, right? And the bearing is what spins. So the bearing sits in there and spins on that. Is that what broke? Yeah. So put, press this race all the way down. You move your head and I'll hit it. Ready? What? Move your head and I'll hit it. <laughs> then he packs it. The peanut butter. Put a little butter. grease in his palm. The, the peanut butter is grease. All right, then, then again. See the grease start coming out the smaller side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That way it's <gasps> going it all the way through the bearing. Coat of grease on the axle and spindle. Yeah. I'm filing the washer down flat because it was all scored on the edge. So we bought a file so I could bring it down smooth, otherwise it won't work. Because I couldn't get this washer at a parts store this late. So far all you did was just slide the drum on. Yeah. The axle, right? Yeah. And, well, I greased the axle. Grease the axle and then slid the drum on. Slid the drum on with the outer bearing, the washer to hold it, and hopefully we can... The washer's on and now the nut. We can thread this nut on. All right, so now we got to turn the drum, make sure it turns. If it doesn't turn, it's too tight. That's okay or is that too tight? Well, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah. And now, I'm just, we don't have anything to lock that nut on. But a cotter pin, that's it? Yeah, there should be a, it's a castellated nut, fits over with all slots. So all we have holding that nut on is a cotter pin right now. Yeah. And all that's, right. That's not good, and there's no dust cap. Right, so tomorrow morning I'll get a dust cap and a, the, the nut. Yeah. All right, guys, jack it up. Nolan, one try. Go ahead. Who can do it? Can All right, Kendall, go for it. Wait, can I try one more time? I know why I wasn't working. I didn't throw it. All out. right, let's just do this now. Let's get okay. it done. Last one's tight. You're officially done. That's it. It is 9.53. We started at 6 o'clock. So almost it's four hours. Uh, we got to stop thanks. No thanks to me. All thanks to All Papa thanks Al. to Papa yeah. Al, our savior. Remember that time I was in high school and you left your vacation in Maine to come bail me out out of two feet of mud in the woods in my Jeep Wrangler? Yeah. This tops that, I think. <laughs> you made it. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I love no you. No problem. Mom, it's funny. All right, so how much did this flat tire cost me at TJ Maxx? $300. Uh, what did you guys spend at TJ Maxx? Do you know how much you spent? Yeah. It was $300. I know. $300. So that was a $300 wheel bearing. All right, so we're on the road again. I just can't wait to get on that road again. On the road again. Hope that was helpful. I hope that was enjoying.
hopeful, joyful, joyful. enjoying. enjoying. Whatever. Joyful. I'll see you all later. Separate. Have a great night. So that is our boat trailer story. Yes, it was on fire. The good news is our other boat is up and running. And this next week's video is going to be our new boat on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire with hopefully some great news. Hopefully good stuff. And if that one's a good one, then we can sell our good boat. The boat we've always loved. So for now, we'll see you all later. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. We appreciate it always. We'll see you later. Bye. Adios.